jumping over the fence. They were almost touching it. Where else can you touch a superstar like that? Where else can you get that close where Usain Bolt or a Roger Federer or whoever you want to name as a superstar of their sport? You're right up next to them. And I love that Chris Waller is so good with his time and, and he really wants to show the people and he's gotten so many people involved. It's, it's so good for racing. Oh, it's remarkable. I mean, it's, it's the longest story we've ever had of an elite thoroughbred in terms of spring and autumn. Black Abbey had big gaps, this mare hasn't. So we're nearly there, aren't we? A fourth George Ryder, a 24th Group 1, a 32nd consecutive win, 24 million in the back, that's irrelevant. Here's Darren Flindell for his call on the George Ryder. Go Weeks! For the agency, George Ryder stakes. The last time we'll see Winks face here on a home track at Rose Hill. Red light. Racing down the George Ryder and Dreamforce and prompt response got the best of the starter. Sosie put away well, followed by Brutal Teleplay, Land of Footy. Winks is staying out pretty wide and Ring-a-Ding D is the last one. Dreamforce presses on after the first couple of hundred metres. It's looking to get to a clear lead of the 1,200 metres, but it's cast a little bit deep around Sosie Bonham. Brutal's booting through her, so Dreamforce leads by three quarters to Brutal. Sosie Bonham to forward roll third, then prompt response from Teleplay. Land of Footy winks up on the outside and Ring-a-Ding Ding's last of all. Dreamforce got to the front now clearly. Brutal came off the fence to sit outside it. Then came Sosie Bond, prompt response getting closer. Further back to Telly Play. Winks is covering a bit of ground, avoiding the kickback. They've landed Bloody and Ring-a-Ding Ding is the last one. Five lengths from first to last. Dreamforce the leader from Brutal Sosie Bond. And Winks is starting to take closer order in a four-way position. Then prompt response from Telly play, ring-a-ding-ding -ding, getting out of the back of Winks and landed but he's been shuffled back to last. They come around the turn of the George Ryder. It's Dream Force Brutal. Winks is staying out in the middle of the track and Bowman hasn't moved the muscle. Clear from prompt response and so she won. Now he shakes the way by Winks and takes the lead from Brutal and Dream Force and now she starts to go down the ride. She's won the four Fox Plates, four Chilling Norman's and now four George Ryder. Jesus. Incredible. Stress-free almost, wasn't it? Stress-free almost. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty non-stressed about that. She just towered. Uh, it's incredible. She was in a beautiful rhythm today, wasn't she? She was in a superb rhythm all the way. Huey said before the race, at Rose Hill, she just gets into a rhythm. She's comfortable. And this is one of the most beautiful sights you'll see in any race track anywhere in the world, isn't it? He was still holding on to her, Bruce, and she was already in front. She's she's got such a, a great sprint. And she was hanging in a little bit there, straight there, and he pulled the whip through to his right hand. He gave the one little touch with the whip and said, come on, straighten up, and away she went. Brutal's run well, hasn't he? He's run a yes, he has. terrific race. He really has. A, Force led up and ran, yeah. ran off the third there, was good too. And Debbie here, have a look at this. <laughs> She's more nervous than anybody. <laughs> I mean, to think that her father and her uncle had long rolled off tech and all this. Yeah. But Debbie, look at her. In that famous dress of hers, almost as famous as the colours that Huey wears, isn't it? And here she is. She knows it's all over. She can relax like the rest of us, can't she? Yeah, yeah. it was an easy watch from, from my well, viewing. I thought over at the thousand meter mark, I think it said to Bruce, it's over now. Yeah. Once she got within three lengths of the leader. So Chris, how did she feel to Huey? Because he did 